but yeah, you can see now, especially on the S, you can see that we have the um, we have the bumps, the material, and it looks really, really nice. So yeah, that's how you do that. Um, what other materials are there? Um, yeah. So most other materials, you would just use displacement. So say you wanted to make a sort of paper thing. Um, let's make a new material. So you want to make a sort of like um paper texture. We'll just create a new material, and then I'll just browse for paper if I have a paper image. Hope I do. Yep, I do. So if you just browse for a paper texture. Oh, wrong one. Hang on, I'll just have to go in someone's GFX pack here. Um, textures. Paper. I'll just use this. I don't know what. Okay, so I'll just use that to texture and copy channel. And then, um, you don't really want reflection because you don't really have anything reflecting off paper. And turn spec clear off as well, so you won't be using that. And now, if we just go to bump, because bump will actually help on this. Go to texture, and then for now, um, for now, sorry, texture, and then paste channel, and then put that up to 100. You see now that we have the little creases in the paper, and it gives it a realistic look. And you if you do the same with displacement, texture, paste channel, you can see now that's making it a bit bigger. So if we put it down to about minus here. Not too much because this is paper. We don't want to overdo it. We have that. So I want to make the paper red. Um, like I showed, I already showed you this before. But you just put the mix strength down like so. But yeah, um, if we put this on now, we'll just see how this looks. We'll just put it back to cubic. Oh, need to change the length. Should see how this turns out. It might look good or it might not. We shall see. Yeah, it looks really nice there, as you can see. I like, it actually looks like it's actual paper on the text, as you can see. Okay, I might actually save this material for myself. Actually, it actually looks really nice. She also, because also Trooper Effects had this in his material pack, and a lot of people obviously um, couldn't afford to buy it. So, and they want to know actually how to make a paper material. So yeah, here you go. There's a nice one right there. So what? Um, another one. Um, another common mistake with people make is with glass. Um, glass is pretty easy to make. It's just about getting the right sort of mixture of reflection and transparency. So another new material. Color. So we'll choose the color of our glass. Of our glass. Um, say we want to have sort of light blue tint. So we'll go, um, we'll choose a color. Go to the top right corner and start to drag it towards white until you get like the lightest blue possible. <coughs> and press OK. And here you want to check transparency. And this is where a lot of people screw up. They just do that um, check transparency, drag it onto their material, render it, and then they think, oh, there's perfect glass. And then it's true, it may look like glass, but it doesn't look very nice, as you can see there. So what you want to do is, um, with transparency, if you put the brightness down to about 60-ish, you can see that it looks a bit like gloss. Maybe up a bit. And of course you want to add some reflection, because all glass has reflection. No texture here, just put it down to about, say, 12. No, say 17. Uncheck spec clear again. And now if we just drag this onto our material. Gloss might take a little long to longer to render as well because there's more detail in it. But you can see now that we have gloss. And also, if say you want to add like a um, sort of like engraving to your gloss, if you check displacement, we go to texture and we just select uh, effect. Not effect, sorry. Let's just select noise. Now. Um, if we go down a bit, it's taking a little long to load. You can see now that we have sort of engraving in our windows. So, because we've got displacement enabled now, you want to change it back to cubic, just so it, um so that it comes up. Otherwise, it won't. I'll just leave this to render. 
sorry if it's about taking so long because I'm also um, I've also got something rendering in After Effects <coughs> so that's probably why but yeah you get the point basically we'll come up like um, with engraving and stuff so yeah um, thanks for watching this tutorial guys um, hope you learned something new today about texturing in Cinema 4D hopefully you can use it in your own intros and if you do leave it as a video response because I'll be quite interested to see what um, experimenting you've been doing with it so yeah thanks guys